So when we talk about that self-acceptance, I feel like that really brings me back to our childhood of how our parents maybe didn't always feel like they were the most um, encouraging of maybe who we were or you know f helping us find our identity versus them wanting to put us in this box of who they wanted us to be so I think a little bit of it maybe is just our parents parenting styles but maybe a little bit of that has to do with their cultural upbringing that is going to be very different I think than some traditional Western upbringing so how do you think that has affected our sense of self and also you know our attachment styles yeah so I definitely think that there's some ideas within the Chinese culture that permeates some of what our parents thought was ideal or important parenting I also would say that I credit them for eventually coming around and understanding especially after we immigrated to America that there's going to be different ideals and values and that the mainstream culture is a little bit different from what they grew up with. But I think both in terms of the time and the culture, they grew up at a time where a job is a job. You just go and do your job and it's just the means to an end. And you don't necessarily have to have a ton of passion for it or a ton of um, excitement about getting up and doing your job. But they just like go to do their job. They're super steadfast and they kind of expect that of us, right? And so I remember when I was younger, I asked uh, mom and dad, hey, you know, I know that my friend so-and-so, they're getting $50 for every A that they're getting in school. Like, can I do that? And they said, well, why should we pay you for something you're already supposed to be doing? You know, so that's, I think, is, a, is an example of their expectations. It's like they have high expectations and there's no reason because they know that we're competent people to not be getting good grades, right? So that all makes sense, but I think also that because of the generation they grew up in and the people around them, they didn't totally understand this idea of your job as maybe something that has to feel like a passion or a meaningful pursuit in a separate way. And that was something that I think it did affect in some ways, like the way that we thought and like, did we feel like we were meeting the mark for our parents, caring about their perspective and knowing that it was through their hard work and courage to really move as adults to a completely different country where they don't know the language, don't have any ties, right? Um, but also understanding that when you get exposed to this new culture, then you have different ideas about what you might want your life to look like and what you want to make your life in terms of how to make a living and what you want to do. And so I think for all of those reasons, it definitely changed the way that we maybe thought of ourselves at different mm -hmm. times how we valued ourselves. I think a lot of it was based on achievement in many ways, that that was kind of a standard. And even when they were talking to other people about us, and I know that you remember some of this, um, it's so interesting. It's not really a focus on, oh, well, like this is her personality traits, right? Mm -hmm. It's more about, well, Maria's going to UCSD, right. and here is her major, and this is what she's doing for her job, as opposed to, oh yeah, Maria's doing great, you know, she's so fun, she's so funny. Like, it's less about personality characteristics, and it's more about what you've accomplished. And that's, right. that tends to kind of be how they talk about us to other people. Mm -hmm. And then I think the way that they relate to us too is like always trying to push us to be better.